So this kind of thing is, um, these are just, the, the maths is easy, but just trying to understand what it's asking for is definitely harder. Because I think if you looked in the mark scheme for those questions you just did, maybe some of them you'd got 180 minus the one in the mark scheme, or maybe you had got something that didn't have 90 degrees added on. So just want to quickly do one more so that you've got this as a record when I send it to you. We want to find the angle that this vector makes with j. When you look at this vector that we have to begin with, maybe I should have said the first time, think about your starting point of the vector. And it's going to be going 3 across. And then it's going to be going 2 downwards. OK? This, then, is the vector that we are talking about right here. We want to find out what angle that this vector makes with j. I think it probably makes more sense to say we're going to start the j vector from the same point that the other one was. Because it's actually, there's so many different angles that we could mention here. But the best way to do this is for the j vector also to be drawn from the starting point. And um, mathematicians draw these diagrams, and they will measure the angles in many different ways. One of the ways might be bearings. One of the ways might be with the axes. One of them might be with j. So there's no kind of hard and fast rule of how they would measure the angles. They haven't really come up with much of an agreement on this. But I think it's better if you draw them from the same starting point. Now, if we're trying to talk about what angle that this one makes with j, it looks like there's going to be a right angle, and then there's going to be another angle that we've got here. OK? So starting at the same point, I think, will help you if you come across these questions again. To find theta, it would be the inverse tan of what? Of 2 over 3. And the inverse tan of 2 over 3 is 33.7 degrees. So our angle that it makes is 90 plus 33.7, which is 123.7 degrees. Now let's imagine that you didn't draw it from the same starting point. Let's imagine that you just drew this vector here with the starting bit, and we had that it was going 3, 2. Some of you then um, may have seen that the j vector that you have, um, you may have measured like this angle that you've got here. But I don't think that that's necessarily describing it with, I don't think that's going to describe the same angle. So the better thing to do is to always have them starting from the, the same point with the vector. That should make measuring the angle a bit easier. The other thing that's maybe not very clear about this 123 degrees is if this is the j vector, is the vector on this side 123 degrees, or is the vector on this side 123 degrees? So again, we should probably say 123.7 degrees on the left of j. But again, it just all feels like, is that the best way to describe it? Maybe a bearing would be better. So if you do come across any of your answers that feel a bit different, make sure you do um, a diagram. And I would I'd, I'd advise you to do both of the vectors starting from the same point to try and find the angle between them. Um, I'm going to add a couple of questions for you to do on Padlet, just for homework for Thursday. But it won't be very many, because it's for Thursday, and we did quite a lot of stuff um, in lesson. And I checked everyone's homework. So apart from one person, everyone got their homework done. So I feel like you're really sort of stepping up to getting things done. Yeah, and it was you. You to me. OK, guys, um, check on Padlet.